Richard Hunk O'Connell, Conky O'Connell, Tommy Hatterman, myself, Dave Dean, and Paul Eastman. A painting by Mac Ruddy. Bonzi Sorello, photo taken in 2002. My 1922 Ford Model T. That's Henry getting out of the Model T. And that's Lester Egghead Bennett lighting up. Henry. Henry is quite a character down the White Park there. Yeah. I don't know this fellow or that one. Henry's going up over the hill to his home. And now we're headed to Long Pond. That's Lester Egghead Bennett chasing after the Model T. Going towards Long Pond, that's Dana Smith giving the old Model T a drink. That's Long Pond, that's Russell Pond, and back to Long Pond. That's uh, Dave Purdy being pushed out of a ditch there by Mott Lanza. And Dave Purdy carrying the log. That's Dana Smith pretending to go into a cottage. And here comes the Model D. And whoop, it turned over. It turned over, banged up the windshield, broke the windshield. And uh, the car was registered in 1940. That's Dana and Lester Bennett. Uh, there's a group of football players, I believe, uh, from St. John's playing down the park. <clears throat> and that is Fonzie Sorello's mother and babysitting a uh, child. I don't know who the child is. Now, then we used to play down the park all the time, playing football. If you know any of these fellows, just let me know and I'll see if I can get their names in there. That's Ken McDonald kicking the football. I don't know the other two. That's Rock Greeley. 
He was quite an athlete. He could kick that football left-footed or right-footed and pass the ball left and right. And pitch a ball left and right. But he was uh, never went to high school. That's Hunk O'Connell, and that's Conky O'Connell, giving you the salute. There's Tommy Hardiman in the huddle there. Now you can tell Gene Callahan, he's got a red and white helmet on. Oh, Tommy's at it again. <laughs> that chip of champagne just went by. That one's uh, Mahan, I think. That's Bobby Knee by, back to you. I don't know this fellow's name. Uh, that's John Frazier. Oh, he's at it again. <laughs> he's getting up there. Get somebody. In the background is Gene Callahan with a helmet on now. Bobby Knee. Tommy Hardiman. Tommy's after him. Ah, gonna have a little discussion here. Conky and me tussling around the pack there. Gene Callahan with a helmet. Oh boy, they're after him. Yeah. That's Donnie Dusso. Now, that's uh, Tommy Adaman and Eddie Mahan. That's Donnie Dusso. That's uh, Lester Smith. They're over by the pool. Now, it looks like they don't know what they're doing. They keep falling down, but there's a reason for that. They're right on the edge of the pool. That ski is in the pool. He's on the edge of the pool. That's Durgan's. Oh, Skeeves went right in the pool. Yep, up at the top of the camel hump, they start from there and go right down by the skate house. They are in the pool. This guy's a pretty good skier. That's Eddie Bazunk. 
Boom. <laughs> now that's a Durgan's factory. They went out of business in 1931. They moved out of Concord. And I was born in 1931. This is up to Winnipesaukee, ice fishing up there. Ah, he got a good one. Yeah, nice lake trout. In the Bob House. Kind of messy around the Bob House there. Now this is a plane taken off from the pond. That's the old side wheeler, Mount Washington, that went to storage. Yeah, the old side wheeler. That's up the weirs. Now we're headed back down Route 3, uh, three back to Concord. That's at White's Park. That's a skating area, a skating rink at White's Park. Skate, uh, ice, uh, Skating near races at White's Park. Sacred Hat Hockey Club, Sacra Corps. They were, uh, there was a rink down on Pleasant Street behind the French church. And that's where they would play their games. And they would play uh, teams from uh, up in Berlin or up in Maine. And even teams in Massachusetts would come up here and play. And they had uh, a lot of good players. There was uh, some players were from St. Paul's School, uh, Langley. And uh, Doc Meacham. And then there was a Dan Stuckey. He was a real good player. Uh, college player, too. And uh, I can't uh, name all the players here because they, you know, don't have the schedule. But there was a. Uh, like uh, Tarzan Healy played, Oma Labonte, and uh, Paulie Colgan, Herb Norton, Johnny Ardette was a goaltender, and Bill Wilson was the first goalie. Red Adams, uh, Addie Brochu, uh, and Morris Kucha, and uh, Eddie Young, Carlson, Eddie Carlson, and uh, Dave King. Now that's just a few of the players that played. Um, there would be quite a few people around the rink watching the game. The cold 
judge would stand right behind the goalie and on the uh, back of the net. And if it went in, he'd wave a flag. And when the player started coming down and was going to shoot, he'd duck down behind the net, <laughs> which was a good idea.